Hi, I'm Dr. David Pacifico. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Art History and the director of the Emile H. Mathis Art Gallery and UWM Art Collection. I'm going to tell you a little bit today about a hidden gem right here on campus, the Emile H. Mathis Art Gallery and UWM Art Collection. Uh, we complement other museums and galleries and collections here in the city and we often collaborate with them. Uh, our mission here is to provide access. We are open and welcoming to all people here on campus, and we are open traditionally 10 to 4, Monday through Thursday. Uh, but you should check the hours on the Art History website before visiting. I'm going to go inside, talk a little bit about the gallery and the collection, before turning you over to my colleague, academic curator Lee Malik, who will tell you about some of the highlights of our collection, especially pop art featuring works by Andy Warhol and others. All right, so here we are in Gallery A of the Mathis Gallery. We have about 2,000 square feet or a little bit more for uh, our galleries here. We have Gallery A and Gallery B. We do four kinds of shows here. We do faculty and staff curated shows. We do shows curated by undergraduates that are typically done under the direction of faculty members. We do graduate student group shows, and we do one of the most important kinds of shows here, which are thesis shows for our Master of Arts program in art history. Up now, we actually have one of those shows where a graduate student has done their uh, thesis in the Master of Arts in art history on uh, the art of Ethiopia. All the shows are centered on our collection and the many thousands of works we have, ranging from uh, pre-Columbian artifacts to a large collection of European and American art, uh, all supporting our mission here in the Department of Art History, the gallery, and the collection of uh, teaching and learning, research, and supporting our colleagues, uh, both within the university and in the community as well. Hope to see you here sometime soon, and now I'm going to turn it over to Lee Malik, who will tell you a little bit more about our collection in detail. Hello, my name is Lee Malik, and I'm the academic curator here for the UWM Art Collection and the Emil H. Mathis Art Gallery. I'm joining you today from inside the art storage room where we house the UWM Art Collection. This collection houses just over 8,000 objects, all of which have been generously donated by area collectors as well as national collectors too. Within the 8,000 objects, these pieces span from ancient all the way through to contemporary eras and represent cultures from all around the globe. We have pieces that are um, works on paper, so prints, drawings, even paintings on paper, as well as paintings on more traditional ma materials such as canvas or panel. We also have sculptures and a wonderful um, collection of African ethnographic objects, which represent nearly 100 different cultures from all across the continent of Africa. From this wonderful collection of 8,000 objects, we have several different areas of highlights. So obviously with our print collection, we represent the entire history of printmaking, from great such as Albrecht Durer through to Rembrandt and um, you know German Expressionism, as well as great contemporary and pop art such as Andy Warhol and and Robert Indiana. We also have great highlights within modern sculpture and paintings, as well as Greek and Russian icons and other liturgical objects. Finally, we have a great collection of self-taught and outsider artists represented in the collection too. We use the collection very often with faculty and students to enrich their class um, and course study. Oftentimes, we bring out pieces that aren't usually on display in our exhibitions to better focus in on what topics are being you know, taught in that class period. We bring out pieces of pop art very regularly as this, these objects are familiar to us. We've seen these types of pieces over and over through, you know, digital representations, but we don't necessarily get to see them in person. This is one of the great benefits of having an art collection on campus. You can get that close looking within your classes. This is one of the highlights that we showcase with faculty and with students in class visits. Oftentimes we work with faculty to talk through what types of assignments or what types of topics they want to dive deeper into in the classroom with these objects. For example, we regularly have students from the Peck School who are 
practicing art, these art processes in their classes, come to look at these objects more closely. We bring these out also regularly to talk with various different programs, honors college, journalism, to write about objects or write about exhibitions. We bring them out, of course, for art history classes, history, um, you know, separate from art history, as well as um, various other um, collaborators across campus. The final piece that I brought out to view today is Robert Indiana's Love Print. So this is a wonderful complement to the sculpture that um, has already been talked about in this course that's outside the Milwaukee Art Museum. So one other hidden gem that we have is this Love Print that we can talk about the grander time period of the pop art movement, but also something very particular to the Milwaukee community. So we can connect these two great art collections across the city through these two different representations of the idea behind Robert Indiana's work. So I hope that you've enjoyed your little visit to the UWM Art Collection today, and we hope to see you here real soon. Thanks so much.